COVID-19 rapid test kits have become a new normal in our lives. We might all feel like experts now, but these tests get used once before they're tossed into the trash, filling landfills and causing harm to our environment. But did you know that one organization is collecting and molding used COVID-19 rapid tests into these one-of-a-kind designs? Kind of cool? And yes, it's safe. How? Stay tuned because we're going to tell you all about it and answer all your questions. How are these COVID-19 tests contributing to pollution? How are these plant pots made? And how does that process help our environment? To find all the answers, we'll talk to a group that's upcycling all of this into this. This is Dominic Checkerbonds, and he's made it his mission to collect to use negative COVID-19 rapid tests that some people use daily and upcycles them into plant pots. This was a new type of plastic that we were seeing increasingly commonly across our society. And that's virgin plastic that's being used once, maybe for 30 seconds, and then it's being thrown straight in the bin. And so we wanted to look at something that we could do to take this perfectly reusable plastic, take it, melt it down, and then make new products from it. In 2018, Dominic founded Precious Plastic Bangkok, a community-based organization in Thailand that specializes in turning plastic into new items. In May 2022, the organization began collecting negative COVID-19 tests from schools across Thailand. You may be asking, what part of these test kits are actually used? The organization just uses this white plastic bit on the outside, excluding any plastic tube or nasal swabs. So how does a used COVID-19 test become a plant pot? Let's take a look. To begin the process, only negative rapid tests are collected from at least 100 international schools across Thailand every month. Even though only negative tests are collected, the schools are first asked to take hygiene precautions like washing and disinfecting the tests before sending them to the Precious Plastic Bangkok's facility. Once the tests reach the facility, they are disinfected further with alcohol spray washed and left to dry overnight. According to the CDC, 99% of the COVID-19 virus will die in most non-porous surfaces within three days. But Dominic takes extra precaution on his end because there will always be a risk. He says having the school disinfect the test before sending them over and disinfecting them again at the facility keeps the service transmission low. There were some concerns about whether there was any danger of, of actually getting COVID from taking these tests and then uh, recycling them, making sure that there's very uh, almost zero chance of COVID remaining on the test when it actually gets to our facility. Once dry, the tests are put into a shredder machine and broken down into small flakes and chunks. Those pieces or plastic are put into an extrusion machine that burns any possible remaining germs or organic material. The machine melts the plastic to around 140 to 176 degrees Fahrenheit until it turns into liquid. That liquid is then pushed out of the nozzle like spaghetti, pressed into preset aluminum and steel molds, and left to cool. Once out of the molds, they're ready to be sold on Precious Plastic Bangkok's Facebook page. It takes about 10 tests to make one small plant pot and over 100 tests to make a larger pot. It all began when Dominic was traveling around Thailand in 2017. He realized there was a huge plastic pollution problem in the country with little effort from the government and corporations to address the problem. So plastic waste is this huge problem for coastal communities, for island communities. And there are some really vulnerable poor communities on, on those islands. And they have traditionally not been recognized by mainland waste management systems, by the national government. And so they don't have the ability to take this plastic waste and even get rid of it. So it is just clogging their beaches, it's clogging their rivers. Dominic wanted to do something about the issue and came across the concept of Precious Plastic. Precious Plastic Bangkok is part of the larger Precious Plastic network that works with communities to fix local plastic waste problems. The network exchanges ideas and construction plans for plastic processing internationally. And I just thought that this was such a nice idea to work directly with communities and to give them the tools to actually be part of the solution rather than just being an afterthought in most legislation and CSR programs. And so this was a way that I could help build actual machines that could take real plastic pollution and then turn it into new products. Dominic decided to work with COVID-19 rapid test kits after seeing how many of them were being used and discarded. And so we wanted to look at something that we could do to take this perfectly reusable plastic, recycled plastic, take it, melt it down, and then make new products from it. Precious Plastic Bangkok not only makes plant pots, it also creates baskets, lampshades, drink coasters, construction material, floor tiles, and much more. Our campaign has proved really successful 
um, and gone viral and a lot of schools and a lot of businesses now signed up to actually sending us these tests. So why is this mission so important to Precious Plastic Bangkok? In Thailand alone, Dominic said there are over 440,000 pounds of rapid test kits lying around and being thrown into landfills or incinerators. According to Our World and Data, as of June 2022, there are 1.41 daily COVID-19 tests per thousand people performed in the U.S. alone. As of May 2022, the Biden administration has delivered over 350 million free tests to America's doorstep. At 10 grams of plastic per test, 350 million tests equate to over 3,850,000 ,000 tons of plastic. And that's not including the millions of tests Americans purchase on their own. Plastic is also bad for wildlife and marine life as it can break down and become ingested. To do its part in solving these problems, Precious Plastic Bangkok has a goal to rescue over 1,100 pounds of tests by the end of 2022. The organization hopes to branch out to businesses, universities, and other stakeholders that have to do these tests on a regular basis to find ways to turn them into something new. So we're working with slum communities, hill tribe communities as well, and those machines that we've given to them are then taking this plastic waste and actually turning it into something new that they can actually gain financial benefit from. What we do is we go and have this very in-depth consultation that is really designed to understand what's their waste problem, what do they want to make from these machines, and then where do they actually want to sell these products as well. Want to help with your local plastic problem? Dominic says you should search for your local precious plastic workspace and work with it to see what kinds of plastic it accepts. If you're looking to dispose of your COVID-19 rapid test kits properly, the CDC advises to dispose of positive and negative tests the same way. While some states require you to dispose them in the trash, other states advise you to place them in a separate bag and put them in a biohazard container. So what do you think? How do you dispose of your COVID-19 test? What will you change in your routine? And how will you contribute to proper recycling? Let us know in the comments below.